Minolta MD Macro 50mm f3.5 was made in Japan and first introduced on the market in July of 1981. Prior to this version, Minolta released five other versions of this 50mm macro lens. The first version appeared sometime in 1961 as the Macro Rocker QF. In 1967, Minolta updated it as the MC Macro Rocker QF. In 1973, it became the MC Macro Rocker XQF. In 1976, the MC Macro Rocker X. And in 1977, the MD Macro Rocker X. I have the latest version from the early 80s, which is recognizable by the simple MD macro only on the side of the lens, without any other words or letters. This macro lens allows you to achieve 1 to 2 or half life size magnification as indicated here on the right. If you want to achieve a true 1 to 1 life size macro magnification, as seen here on the left, you will need to get the separate 1 to 1 macro adapter which used to come with this lens when it was sold back in the 80s, but unfortunately now on the used market, most of these lenses do not come with the one-to-one -one adapter. The optical design of this lens consists of six elements in four groups. It accepts filters with 55mm diameter. Aperture ranges from f3.5 to f22, with click stops in between. The diaphragm is made of six rounded aperture blades. On the back, this lens has Minolta MD mount. I use an MD to NEX helicoid adapter, which allows me to focus closer when the adapter is extended, and if I need to reach infinity, I simply rotate it to its normal position. Since this is a macro lens, focus throw is on the long side, approximately 340 degrees. This lens weighs only 204 grams. Minimum focusing distance from your subject to your film plane or sensor is 23 centimeters. The Minolta MD Macro 50mm f3.5 is a fantastic vintage lens that is incredibly versatile, has tons of positive qualities and can still be found quite cheaply. Sharpness is a very important factor when considering a macro lens, and this Minolta does not disappoint. Even wide open at f3.5, this lens has excellent sharpness, and not just in the center, but across the whole frame. Stop down to f8 or f11, this lens consistently delivers images that are as sharp as a tack, with great resolution and lots of detail. When it comes to colors and saturation, this Minolta lens is also a top performer. The colors that come out of it are punchy and saturated, with plenty of contrast and rich tones. Minolta lenses are famous for the beautiful colors they deliver, and this macro lens is a testament to that. Even though this is a relatively slow lens, with a maximum aperture of f3.5, it still produces very pleasing out-of-focus blur, especially when shot at closer distances. This lens is also extremely well corrected for distortion, I was not able to detect any problems with any type of distortion, no matter how close or far I was from my subject. A truly great feat for a 50mm lens. So if you love shooting interiors or architecture, this lens will make a great companion. Chromatic aberrations are also very well controlled, and not much of a concern with this excellent macro lens. There is some really minor orange and green fringing, which is hardly visible, and only appears in challenging situations, but for the most part I had no issues and I never felt like I had to correct anything in post, since these aberrations are barely detectable. There is some slight vignetting when the lens is shot wide open, but that quickly disappears when you stop it down a couple of stops. Just like other vintage 50mm macro lenses, this one also has deeply recessed front element, which helps a lot with controlling unwanted stray light, so for the most part I had no issues with ghosting or flare. The only time ghosting appears is when the lens is pointed straight towards the sun, as in this example. So have that in mind. At the end of the day, you can't go wrong with this wonderful vintage macro lens. It delivers super sharp results even wide open, it has fantastic colors, it is very well corrected for distortion, and it doesn't really have any major issues that you need to be concerned about. Unfortunately, it has some plastic parts, but it's also super lightweight. And best of all, it's still very affordable on the used market. 
So if you have a small budget but want a great performing macro lens that you can take along with you on long trips and hikes without having to worry about its weight, I can highly recommend the Minolta MD Macro 50mm f3.5. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time here at Vintage Optics.